Hello, my name is Richard Wilson. I wanted to record this short video on positioning for you and give you three quick examples of how to do positioning the right way, in my opinion. Uh, first of all, the wrong way to do positioning is to say that you're an expert on the process of doing something when you don't readily show that you obviously have already uh, accomplished that process over and over again and you're swimming in the benefits of knowing that process. So for example, if you had a training program on how to write a book, we have only written one book. You know, do you know that much about it? Um, you know, or maybe if you say that you're a consultant in something but you're not obviously living in that area and showing that you have the results of that. One good example is that if you are saying that you can help a person get access to ultra wealthy individuals, maybe to invest in their real estate project, you know, they're gonna ask you how much can you help and you say, Well, I know where to find some doctors, I know where to find some professional athletes, I know where to find these people, I know where they like to go, we can find their addresses, I can look them up online. You know, that's great, but that's passion without results first. So what you want to do for positioning is you want to drive the nice car, even if it's an antique Rolls Royce that costs you $10,000, you want to be driving the Rolls Royce. You want to go to the private club and you want to be at the expensive dinners. You want to be the leader of the local Ferrari club. Then you would be swimming in the results that people are going to look for. I had an experience with this myself, this is my second example, where I had held myself out as a capital raising consultant, because I was, and I had been hired. Uh, plus re uh, results, uh, paid on results, by many people before. And what happened was that I got a mixed, re mixed reaction from some people. Some were very interested in working together, but others not so much. And once I decided that, you know what, I'm not going to just say that I can be helpful in targeting family office investors, a certain type of investor. I'm going to live in the family office industry. I'm going to grow our family office association, make sure our website's number one, record lots of videos just like this one all over the world and make sure that we have a very well-known brand in the family office industry and by doing that um, I've had more people come to me and want to work together with me as a family office capital raising consultant than when I held myself out as a family office capital raising consultant so think to yourself are you holding your out, yourself out as something that says I am an expert at the process of how to get to this result or are you living the life that just emerges yourself in that pool of results and in that circle of people that, that everyone wants to get access to. Or, you know, if you've written 20 books or 30 books, that is going to market yourself better than if you say, oh, I'm a book consultant. Well, have you ever written a book? No. Or, you know, James Malinchek likes to say, you know, some people say, oh, well, I'm a, uh, I'm a public speaking consultant. And then he asks the person, like, how many speeches did you give us here? And they say, oh, well, none. I'm just a consultant. But, you know, I, I gave, like, 20 or 30 speeches last year. You know, and he says, well, why would, why would I, I hire you to coach when I've given 100 speeches this year and I've been doing that for seven years? So, you know, you have to, uh, you have to be at the result, and then people will be drawn to you automatically. Another uh, third hint and example of how to display positioning is to do things that signify position without having to say anything. So saying that you have the largest association of Ferrari owners, you know, says you have access to a high net worth crowd without saying it as explicitly. A better example is doing this video here in Paris, France. I did some in Prague last week. I did some in Singapore and Berlin and Geneva earlier this year. And by doing these videos, I don't have to say, like, hey, you know, look at me. I've got enough money to fly around the world and speak at these events and I have global clients. and. You know, uh, I sometimes call that out in some of my videos, but in 90% of them, I don't say explicitly those things. I just say where I'm at, what I'm doing in the location, and that's all. But the result of this is that people see that I have a global business. They know I have a global network. They see that I'm meeting face-to-face -face with all different types of businesses within my niche that I position myself in. And it really has a great effect. We've had many people comment on these global videos, and it's the same as if you pull up um, in a nice car or you welcome them to your offices and you just walk through real fast and then you leave and go to Starbucks and have a coffee. But people are going to notice whether your office was a, uh, you know, complete, you know, destruction area or if it's a very nice office. Like these things really do matter when it comes to positioning far more than I think people believe. And they say don't judge a book by its cover because everybody does. Most people do not take the time to really get to know someone before they make a judgment. And you know they say subconsciously that we judge things within 0.3 uh, of one second 
we judge whether something is attractive or not. Um, they say that when you see another human being of the opposite sex, within less than half a second, you're judging whether it's someone that you find attractive or not. And the same thing when you look at a book cover, when you look at a business card, when you look at a website, um, you know, it, it all comes down to that snap judgment. So you have to position yourself so that instantly you're improving your chances of those snap judgments going well. And that when they hear about what you're doing, that it's obvious that you're swimming in results that they really want, and then they'll really want to work with you. So this is Richard Wilson. I hope these different examples of positioning are helpful to you. Uh, applying this to your own situation is a big challenge. So it'd be great if you took a couple minutes now to think about how you're holding yourself out in the market as a career professional or in your business, and how you could just display the results you already have better, or just double down in your business and dedicate yourself to your niche even further to make it clear to everybody that you've done the hard work and you've paid your dues and you are in the spot that they want to get to uh, in terms of results. So I hope you found this helpful uh, coming, from, coming from France today. And I hope